Okay, so here is the future winery right here. Man, that was a pain in the butt to get that plumbing in and to get, I mean, that's the sewer plumbing and then also the plumbing for the faucet here, which um, it's still not, I mean, it's hooked up back here. I got, this is a hot line and I got the cold running over there however i can't tie that in until i put this thing together this is a uh, uh, filtration system it's a dual filtration system uh one sediment and the other one is for bacteria uh, i believe that's like a one micron probably that's sediment filter okay there's the uh that's the carpet filter Anyways, that's getting installed right there. And, uh, yeah, the recessed lighting. Man, that made a huge difference, as you can see. Uh, these were two different can lights, and this one actually sat down lower. And I was like, oh, man, that one's recessed, and this bulb's sticking out. That's not going to fly. I'm going to have to change those out and then my buddy Kevin yep you know who I'm talking about he's like well can you adjust those settings inside there and lo and behold you can I don't know about those other two but this one right here there was an adjustment in there where you could uh set the height so anyways and then uh here you go this is basil check it out looking pretty good and that's jasmine right there so these are going to be ready to put in. That's why we need the tiller running, which is looking really good. But um, that right there is my polystyrene and that's going right here up against this wall and it'll get a coat of the uh, dry lock. And what will happen is that dry lock gives it a texture. Well, this wall has got a dry lock on it. You can see the texture. But I did it to the wood right here. And, man, it's like sandpaper. So, the reason I'm putting that on there is so whenever I do my drive it finish, or um, this is, I guess you would consider it a stucco. So, it's a cement. And uh, uh, they have them in, like, hotels and museums, that kind of stuff. But um, I'm not doing a texture. I'm actually going to do a smooth finish because this room needs to be aseptic. So if I got grooves and stuff, that's a place for bacteria to hide. So this will be a smooth, very smooth, high gloss cement. Uh, so going from that polystyrene, that'll go up there. It'll get fitted on there. And then it'll get a smooth coat after the uh, textured paint. Also, there's a plastic mat <clears throat> that goes up there. So, uh, that's to give it the rigidity so it's strong like concrete. Anyways, this is it. Looking good.